Guys, I am really excited today. I have wanted to do this piece for quite a while actually because, you know, teaching so many students, they always ask me, how can I improve a little bit faster? And truth be told, improving has very little to do with tennis. Okay, this is why I brought my very good friend Dan today because he's the one that keeps me in shape. And what we've actually figured out is that to improve really fast, you gotta, you know, get ready with physical fitness Correct. more so than with, you know, tennis practices. So right. he's going to explain to you why it's important to prep like a pro sure. to improve. Yeah, uh, that's, that's very true. Everybody wants to get in shape and they try to use the tennis game itself to get in shape. And right. what I'm trying to tell them is we need to prep you beforehand with the physical workouts and training to get their body ready to handle what the tennis coach wants them mm -hmm. to do on the court with the different strokes. So okay. today there's so many different training areas to work on, but our focus today, as you see right here, on court, on okay. court conditioning agility drills. Uh, great stuff. There's so many out there, but I really picked out four or five that I think everybody's going to really sink their teeth into, get out there and get on court and get themselves ready for tennis. Excellent. Well, is this something that anybody at any level can do or is that really just designed for someone like me who has a little bit of experience at the pro level? Right. Well, with any drill and any exercise, we can accommodate to every level. So okay. that's the good thing about it. Don't worry that this is not just for the pros. It's for everybody out there and they can get themselves and advance themselves into different levels with them. So as we said, Jan, if you want to play like a pro, you got to prep like a pro. And Excellent. that's what we're here to do today. Excellent. Well, I'm very excited. I'm ready to go. We're going to show you guys how to prep like a pro. Okay, let's get warmed up. All right. All right. This is where we start. This is where we start. So again, the dynamic warm up. We're going to start right here. We're going to go through the Fab Four that I like to call. Okay. Uh, we're going to start with hip swings. Great. Okay. We're going to use the net as just a balance point for you. Okay, Jan. So right side. We're going to keep the right leg tight. I want you to pay close attention to his foot position. Right foot faces the forward to the net, and it faces the sky here. Forward to the net sky, getting good hip rotation, coming through. Shoulders stay facing forward at all times. Switch. Same thing, bottom foot stays facing the net, that's his brace foot, he's rotating around that bottom foot. Good. Breathe through. And rest. Very good. Let's go to the leg swing, okay? Again, the leg swing is more for hamstring and quadricep in particular, a dynamic stretch. Right hand on, right leg is being, being stretched right now. We're going to kick forward, stretch the hamstring, heel to butt for the quadricep. Ready? Kick. One, two, just like that. There. Three, four, chest stays up. Five, six, seven, hamstring quad. And switch. Let me come around the other side, okay? Here we go. Left hand on, left leg stretching. Keep the left leg straight. Reach here. Four, five. Again, don't worry about the height. Keep the legs straight. Some people's legs will be way up here. Others may be down low. And rest. Very good. All right, let's come over here. Let's do our walking toe touch. Again, very important. It's called walking toe touch, but if you're not flexible enough, maybe you're going to touch the shin. But the idea is you cannot bend the knee. I want to make sure, we're going to kind of t zoom in and take a look at this and say, I want, if I'm stretching my left leg, mm -hmm. I got to keep that left leg straight, pull that toe back, right? Reach down through, okay, I'm okay with the toe. Maybe I'm tight in here, I'm going to go with the shin. Don't mess up the stretch to get to the toe. Okay. All right, here we go. Reach through, tap, good. Up, right foot forward, sit back into the heel, pull the toe back, excellent. Again, there's a balance, right? Reach forward. Pull the toe back, reach. Excellent. Again. Reach. So we're starting down at the Achilles heel, right? Down at the Achilles tendon, at the heel, the calf, hamstring, low back, all the way through. Reach. One more. Yeah. Yes. Good. Okay. Last one coming, or the Fab Four, right? So we call a lunge twist. I want to get into the glute, I want to get the rotation of the torso, right? Really get warmed up for our drills coming up, all right? Now the key important thing here with the lunge is I got to protect my knee at all times. We do that in technique and drills and everything else. So I want you to watch this real closely. As I take a lunge forward, I want to make sure that I lunge forward enough as I drop down into the lunge, my knee is not over my toe. 
a lot of times I see a lot of athletes get to here, they come down, a lot of shearing effect on that knee. I want to protect that knee, and then I don't get my stretch in the glute is what I'm looking for, okay? So lunge forward, get down, protect the knee, rotate shoulders into the leg. Drive back up, switch. Left leg, protecting the knee, stretch is here, rotate into the leg, okay? Let's try it, same thing. Drop down, rotate. Drive up, excellent. Reach, drop down, rotate. Great, see, knee protected, how's that feel, okay? Great. Drop down, rotate. Last one, Jan. Get those hips warmed up, get that thoracic back, and rotate. Excellent, great. It's okay to square you up. Right. Keeping this squared to the net, good. Try to keep the right leg straight so it's nice fluid through. Do you feel that stretch on the hip? Yeah. Yep. Five, reach through. Six, everything square. Seven, eight, try and keep this toe forward, okay? Yep. Nine, Let's give me two more. One more. All right, switch. Good. Left toe towards the, towards the net and then cross up to the sky. Right. Three, four, yeah, good rotation. Last two, one more. All right, not bad. How's that feel? Pretty good? So yeah. we're getting that good rotation. We're yeah. not trying to what? Pre-stretch that muscle. Right. We want you to have power out there, okay? Nat so Naturally tight. Naturally tight. <laughs> so let's go through the leg swing. I'll have you face that way. Okay. Left hand on, okay? Left leg is gonna be worked, all right? So think about punting a football. You ever punt a football? Sure. So leg stays straight, heel to butt, okay? Mm -hmm. Leg stays straight, heel to butt. Straight, heel, straight, heel, okay? Nice pendulum effect. Right arm there, two, straight in front, three, try not to cross, four, breathe through, five, six, seven, so it's hamstring, quad, feel that hamstring, quad, good, one more, all right, switch, good, let's try the other, now you're going to turn, yep, there you go, so right arm, right leg, there we go, try and keep that leg straight, right in front, good, Breathe through. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. How's that? Good. Let's get those hamstrings yeah. loose, right? They're very important, yeah. okay? So let's do the walking toe, shin, knee, whatever that is, touch yeah. from everybody, yeah. okay? Yeah, maybe a shin. Maybe a shin, okay? So let's angle this way, okay? Yeah. Opposite arm coming forward, tap, wherever that would be. Okay. I come back up, switch it, not too far apart, right? Drive back and reach. The idea is not to bend that leg because then we lose the stretch, okay? And we're not trying to hold the stretch, we're gonna keep moving it. Okay. But watch your balance on that too, okay? Right. Here we go. There we go. Step, sit back and reach. Excellent. Set it, find your balance, exhale through, boom. So it's inhale, exhale. Good, you should feel that all the way up. Now it's a little too wide on that one, try and take a little closer. There you go. Good. Reach. Excellent, let's do two more. Good, reach. Last one, one more each. Should feel that right up through the calves, hamstring and low back. Yes. Okay. Rest, good. Okay, so we're starting to get that. Let's do the last one, we'll come over here. Let's do that lunge twist, okay? okay. So the lunge, we're trying to lunge, we're gonna go in this direction. Drop down. Okay, now we're at that one. Let's go back, let's start that one again. Remember, get down first, feel the stretch, almost touch that knee. Uh. Don't bend the arms, think about rotating the shoulders. Okay, okay let's yeah. try it again. Straight down, rotate in, good. Switch, now keep the arms straight out to your side, rotate the shoulders, there you go. Try not to cross the arms in front. Drop down, rotate, good. Drop a little lower, rotate in. All right, one more. Down, rotate in, all right. Let's get, let's Thank get you. working out. Thank All you. right. <laughs> you ready to get started? Sprint, lateral shuffle, okay? Stay low to the ground, stay under control. Ready position, hit that lateral movement, okay? Build up your speed, ready? Hit. Good footwork. All right, we're gonna work it back. Again, now, 
backwards, right? Stay low. Don't get caught on your heels. It'll throw your balance off, okay? Find the cone. Now we're shuffling left. Here we go. Back. Find it, find it, find it, find it. Shuffle. That's it. Stay low, stay low. Find it, find it. Hit. Here we go. Ready? Hit. Find the cone, find the cone. Stay low. Hit your lateral shuffle. Stay ready, stay ready. Back. Back. Rest. Great. All right, our next on-court exercise or drill is going to be called the box drill. A lot of you may be familiar with that out there. Uh, I really like the box drill, one of my favorites to throw into your training because it really works on concentration and focus. Concentration for the tennis athlete. As you know, the athlete has many things it needs to bring to the table, right? Speed, agility, quickness, but it also needs focus and concentration. The box drill does just that, along with working on footwork and also conditioning, okay? Okay. All right. Let's get it set up. Let's get started, okay? So Jan, you're going to be in the center, okay? This is where you always come back to, all right? We're going to designate each four corners here with a number. One, two, three, four. You will start in a ready position. Yep. One, two, three, four. I will call out a number. You will get to that number, right? And come back to center and we'll do it again, okay? okay. We're going to perform this for 30 to 60 seconds, all right? Trying to do that or we try and get 10 numbers in, okay? Set. One. Get back. Set. Four. That's it. Find it. Get back. Two. Get back. Three. Get back. Two. Good reaction, good reaction. Find it, find it, find it. Three. Back. One. Get that drop shot, see? Get there, get back. Last one. Four. And up. Ready position. Rest. Woo! Yeah, very nice. good, very good. <laughs> All right, next athlete. All right, Bob, here we go. You ready? Again, one, two, three, four. Ready position, two. Get there, get there. Good, work it back. Get to the midline, set it up. Four. Good, bring it. One. That's it, that's it. Stay low, Just keep your feet. Get to the center. Two. Good, work it back, work it back. Last two coming, last two. Three. That's it, find it, bring it up. Let's finish strong now, finish strong now. Two. And work it back. Rest. Excellent. Moving on, the next drill, right? On court exercise and drills, we're going to do what we call the react and run. Now we had you going all over the place reacting to my cues, right? Verbal cues. Now we're going to go on signals, pointing, okay? It's focusing on lateral movement on the baseline. And we start adding the racket in here, okay? No ball, just we're doing on ground strokes as well. Good technique for your, for your forehand, backhand, lateral movement and conditioning all combined in one, okay? So this is called uh, what I, I prefer to call it react and run. Four to six sets each side, and then we'll take a break. We'll let Bob come in and do the second set, okay? Right. Let's get set up. Hit. Oh, get back. Hit. Set it, set it, set it. Hit. Good footwork, good footwork. Hit. Get back, get ready. Good, good, stay ready, ready, ready. Come on, hang in there, hang in there. Stay low, stay low, hit. Rest, nice job. Woo! Woo! Hit. 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 Good, 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 hit. Good. Hold, 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 hit. Reach, 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 hit. Come on, get back to the center, get back to the center, hit. Center. Rest. All right, you guys rested? We're ready for the next one, okay? We've been working on a lot on footwork, a lot of conditioning that way, but we also got to work on 
not just the conditioning in terms of your footwork and heart rate, but also got to work on your power. Where does power come from? How do I get rotation, right? Separation from your hips to your upper body. And the med ball is the answer to that. I like to bring the med ball on court and to kind of go through these drills with you today. This is called med ball rally. And the idea is to make sure that when we're throwing the med ball, sometimes to pick the right weight. So I'm telling people mostly four to six pounds to get started. If you need lighter, that's fine. But the idea is don't let the weight overpower your technique. And the idea is, and we'll demonstrate, we'll go through the whole thing, is forehand, backhand, and we'll rally, med ball rally back and forth for 10 uh, seconds. Mm -hmm. Rest, 30 seconds, hit it again. We need enough rest to generate power, okay? Let's go through the basics of the med ball throw and how that goes. And I want to kind of break it down for everybody so when they see you do it, they understand what's going on. It doesn't look just look like you guys throwing the ball over the place, okay? okay? So when we look at the med ball, uh, again, four to six pounds, we look at the grip on the med ball, okay? Anyway, the idea is I'm going to each side of the med ball. And when I release the med ball, it's going to be released with open hand like this. I'm not trying to push it with my dominant hand. So if you're right-handed, your forehand, people tend to push it with their right hand. On your backhand, they'll try to what, push it with the left. I want to release it here. The power comes from where? Hips, okay. torso, right? So if we're lined up such like this, I need to what? I'm back here to throw. I need to re unwind the other way, right? Hips, torso, ball release. Where most people tend to what? Throw with the arm. Nothing going on down here. Okay? And then you as a tennis pro and you guys work, what do you, what do you find? Everyone's hitting with it with the racket, right? right. Tell me what you, you see the same thing? Exactly the same thing. It's like, right. Yeah. Coming through with the arm. Right. So the med ball done right breaks that habit. Okay? So let's do a couple. We'll work together. All right? So uh, let's place it out. Again, we're going to use the six pound med ball. Okay? And we'll kind of work through the forehand. And then we'll work on the backhand, so we're not going to confuse it. And then we, once you get the technique down, we can get into rallying different ways. Okay? Still movement on the court. All right? Let's get set up. Remember, hips through. Hips rotate. Good. Five more seconds. Reach. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Very good. How's that feel? It's hard, isn't it? Yeah. You feel the balance. You feel the body trying to find its ground, oh, right? Yeah, and then I think this is this is a different release. A different release, right? We're trying, right? We're not allowing the arm to do the work. I want the hips to come through and there's my target, right? So where your hips go, the ball goes, all right? Let's go backhand, okay? Backhand, line it up, set, go. Get that hips around the target. Three, four, four. There you go. Five, catch. Last one, hit it, rest. Very good, a little better, right? So again, we're trying to not kill the other person working with you. It's still working what? It really helps the technique. I feel it makes you ground yourself, get yourself set up, right? Rotation, get those hips through, release the ball, okay? Don't try and kill the other person. You can work on that when you do med ball slams against the wall or anything like that, okay? Now, let's break it down. I will work each, each one of you separately and let's really push a little bit harder, okay? okay. And we'll be right back. Okay. All right, here we go with the med ball rally. Uh, we're using a four to six pound med ball, and we're going to be working individually with Jan. So if you have a trainer out there or a training partner out there, this is how we'll do it. He's going to be doing the throwing. I'm going to be setting him up for the throw. Okay? We're going to be looking at ground strokes today with the med ball. We're going to be looking at forehand and backhand. Again, working on the proper form with the med ball with the rotation of the hips just like in tennis. I don't want to throw the med ball with my arms, I want to throw with the rotation of my hips. Okay, so we're going to set this up, we're going to try and work on opposite, one ground stroke, one back stroke. Okay, back, backhand, forehand, backhand, okay? All right, let's get started, here we go. Ready position. Hit. Excellent. Hit. Good. Hit. Nice. Use those hips, power. 
That's it. Hit. Woo. Got to get that one. <laughs> Come on. Hit. Nice. Hips. Good. Two more. Hips. Nice. One more. Hips. Excellent. Nice work. How's that feel? Woo. <laughs> Bring in the power, man. <laughs> med ball rally. A four pound med ball. We're going to go forehand, backhand, side. Ready? Hit. Good. Hit. That's it. Hit. Nice. Hit. Get that recoil. Good. Get that rotation. Hips through. Nice. Better. Hips. Good. Hips. That's it. Rotate. Hips. Come on. Last one. Hips. Excellent. Good work. All right, final drill, on-court drill. Uh, this one is really going to test the endurance in you. Okay. Another aspect of the tennis athlete that needs to be worked on, okay? This is called cross-court drill. And we're going to break it up. Uh, it's a 60-second drill. And we're going to break it up 30 seconds going one direction, 30 seconds going the other to make sure we get even work on your side shuffles, okay? Uh, let's set it up for you, all right? So basically, you're going to start on the baseline we're going to shuffle the length all the way through, okay? You're going to sprint three-quarter speed to the opposite corner, to the net, okay? Shuffle over to the other side and three-quarter sprint back. We're going to do that for 30 seconds, and then we would switch, and now you'll be shuffling the other way to get both sides equal, okay? 60 seconds total, and then we'd rest for two minutes, all right? And some people out there, they can do up to five sets of that. That's one set, okay? So it really works on the tennis endurance on the court, okay? Even though I know volley, you know, they don't last that long, but we want to build that endurance for long, deep sets in the matches, okay? Uh, let's get it set up and get started. Yeah, we're going to start all the way over. I got the time right here. Again, we're going to go 30 seconds this way, then we're going to switch it, okay? Ready? Hit. Three quarter speed, three quarter speed on the sprint. Shuffle. Turn, go. Set it up. There's 15 seconds. Good. Three quarter. Keep the keep the balance. Keep the balance. Go. Go, go. Shuffle. And back. All right, shuffle to your left. Shuffle to your left. Let's transition now. Transition. Get your breath. Catch your breath. All right, here we go. Going right now. Shuffling right. Switching around. Last 30 seconds. Three quarter sprint. Shuffle right. Stay low now. As we get tired, we want to come up. Shuffle. Last time through. That's it. Stay down, stay low. And finish. Time. Excellent. All right. Ready? Hit. Shuffle, shuffle through. Diagonal, three quarter speed, three quarter speed. All right, shuffle over. Keep it square, keep it square. Turn, go. Shuffle over. Now, hold here, hold here. We're going to reverse it. Ready? Shuffle. Working the shuffle right now. Straight on. Good. Shuffle right. Turn, go. Finish strong. Time. Rest. Very good. All right, we did it. Made it through. Great on-court conditioning drills today. You guys worked hard. I hope everybody enjoyed seeing uh, the top ones that I highlighted for you, everybody, on saying that how can we you know, get on court and do these conditioning drills to help us through the tennis game, tennis match, okay? Um, they worked really hard today. Find your starting point. Start at the beginning. Work the technique. Get that technique down. As you can see, as the technique got better, they got better, and they could push a little harder to improve. 
correct. Um, what I really want to highlight is I play tennis two to three hours a day, a couple of times a week, and going through these very simple exercises, you know, I find myself to really be taxed out, you know. So it's very important that as you go through that you progress gradually, okay, and then graduate certain levels to be able to be where you need to be. This is a very simple sample of what you're going to be going through in the course, prepping like a pro. So, you know, this is definitely something that you want to incorporate in your tennis practice is to be able to improve faster than your opponents. Right. And we're just excited to see you soon coming up and prepping like a pro. This is just a little taste. We look forward to it. Get out there, get your, get your prepping like a pro, do the drills, follow the program, do your homework, get it done, and guess what? You're going to have a lot of fun on that court. Mm -hmm.